A shocking scene unfolded last night at the Jane's Addiction Show in Boston as singer Perry Farrell and guitarist Dave Navarro were involved in a physical altercation on stage in front of fans, with the set unfortunately having to come to an abrupt end. Now, it all got started around the 11th song in their set as they were singing the track Ocean Size, where it appeared that Perry Farrell became agitated about something. It doesn't seem as though Dave Navarro was doing anything, but he becomes aggravated, he becomes starts grunting loudly into the mic, and then he like shoulder checks him on stage. He runs at him, shoulder checks him. Dave Navarro seems stunned by this. He looks at him like, what the hell, dude? And then at that point, Perry Farrell rushes him again, and stage crew runs out, they separate the two or they attempt to, but not before Perry Farrell appears to try to take a swing at him, which Dave Navarro was able to deflect. Now. It's unclear what led to this or what exactly is going on here. There are a lot of theories floating around about this, but we now actually have comment from Perry Farrell's wife giving her perspective about what occurred as well as what took place backstage. She's also saying that another member of the band, according to her, allegedly threw punches at Perry Farrell after all of this went down. Of course, now there are questions as to whether or not this tour is even going to continue based on this level of mayhem taking place within the band. It's clear that there are some tensions that have been boiling over, and there have been fan reports that in shows preceding this one last night in Boston, that there had also been some issues appearing to boil over between members of the band. But we do know that this video obviously is going to go down in history with uh, Jane's Addiction, this is a crazy scene. This is not something that was on stage antics or entertainment or anything. It wasn't a part of the show. This was a physical confrontation on stage between two members of the band. It's just not something that you see very often. So we're going to take a look at that clip right now, and we're going to tell you what we're seeing in terms of the shows that led up to this, as well as what Perry Farrell's wife has to say about why she thinks this went down. Here's what we know. Fans in attendance at the Jane's Addiction show last night in Boston, and now fans around the world are scratching their head, wondering what led up to this physical altercation between singer Perry Farrell and guitarist Dave Navarro. It was the 11th song in the set as Jane's Addiction was performing Ocean Size when singer Perry Farrell appeared to become enraged. First, shoulder checking guitarist Dave Navarro hard. Navarro appeared stunned and then Farrell moves in again. At this point, production crew rushed down onto the stage, trying to separate both parties and trying to get Perry Farrell to calm down. Here is the moment of that altercation during the Jane's Addiction show. So as you can see very clearly from that clip, you have Perry Farrell just shoulder checking him, like almost like an NFL player or something. He checked him hard. Navarro's like, what the hell, dude? And then it all went downhill from there. And so people are wondering about this. Perry Farrell is also the founder of Lollapalooza. Uh, you know, this is a very well-liked, beloved rock band, has had a great history. Dave Navarro is also a legendary guitarist. Perry Farrell, legendary rock vocalist. So it's kind of crazy to see this. I was really shocked by the video, and I hope that they're able to work this out. Um, but, but really a bizarre scene that people are trying to figure out what's going on. But I want to say, there have been fan reports about the shows leading up to this, where they were saying, something was off, something was going on, we can't quite make out what it is. But it seems as though there's been some sort of tension taking place within the band. Let's take a look. The video has shocked the internet, with fans wondering just what the hell was going on in Boston last night. And interestingly enough, 
Fan reports in the preceding shows leading up to Boston last night indicated there may have already been some tension going on. In this report from the PRP earlier this week, chronicling fan disappointment from their set in New York City, it makes it clear that the Boston show wasn't the only set where there were problems. The headline reads, Fans expressed disappointment and concern for Perry Farrell after last night's Shaky Jane's Addiction set in New York City. At one point during the show in New York, Farrell addressed the crowd saying, Ladies and gentlemen, I have to be honest with you. Something's wrong with my voice. Something's going wrong. I can't get notes out. But fans took to social media to offer their own accounts of the New York show. This user wrote, It took two hours and a lot of money to get to Pier 17 and see you. Been a fan since the beginning. But what a shit show. Extremely disappointed is an understatement. Thank God for the band. They were amazing. But Perry, come on, brother. My voice is messed up. You could barely stand up. Get some help, pal. And a refund would be great. Shaking my head. Another user wrote, I knew right after Kettle Whistle we were in trouble. And that's one of my favorite newer songs. Not so tonight. Again, Eric, Dave, and Steven were amazing. Especially under those circumstances. They got the job done. I can imagine how Perry could go on tomorrow night unless it's a stunt double. He needs a rest day. They still got like 10 dates to go into October. And this fan wrote, Perry, what the f*** was that performance, man? I wasted $260 on this show to see you for the first time, and that's the effort I got? It was the worst show I'd ever been to. I can't blame Dave, Eric, or Steven. The instrumentals were fantastic, but you're the soul of the band, and your voice and presence was practically nowhere to be found. I'm extremely disappointed. I should get a refund. And now, Perry Farrell's wife, Eddie Lau, has issued a statement in response to the incident and her own account of what transpired last night in Boston. She wrote, Rather than speculating, I thought to post a first-person account of what happened on stage with Jane's addiction last night in Boston. Who? Perry Farrell and Dave Navarro. How? Clearly there had been a lot of tension and animosity between the members. The magic that made the band so dynamic. Well, the dynamite was lit. Perry got up in Dave's face and body checked him. Why? Perry's frustration had been mounting night after night. He felt the stage volume had been extremely loud and his voice was being drowned out by the band. Perry had been suffering from tinnitus and a sore throat every night. But when the audience in the first row started complaining, up to Perry cussing at him, that the band was playing too loud and that they couldn't hear him, Perry lost it. When? The band started the song Ocean before Perry was ready and did the count off. The stage volume was so loud at that point that Perry couldn't hear past the boom and the vibration of the instruments. And by the end of the song, he wasn't singing. He was screaming just to be heard. So who won the fight? Why, Eric Avery, of course. While Dave was keeping Perry at arm's length to de-escalate the situation, Dan rushed over to de-escalate as well by holding Perry back. Dave walked away to take his guitar off. Eric walked up to Perry upstage in the dark Behind Dan, put Perry in a headlock and punched him in the stomach three times. Kevin, crew member with long hair, pulled Eric away. Then Eric, nonchalant, walked off to the front of the stage to apologize to audience for the show that ended early. What was the aftermath? Dave still looked handsome and cool in the middle of a fight. Perry was a crazed beast for the next half an hour. He finally did not calm down, but did break down and cried and cried. Eric, well, he either didn't understand what de-escalation meant or took advantage of the situation and got in a few cheap shots on Perry. Well, that's my first person account narrative of what happened. Take a look at the video for yourself. So this is obviously a spectacle. It's a shit show, whatever you want to call it. It's a crazy video. And while it's kind of funny to watch, it's also sad because you don't want to see bandmates having any sort of animosity towards each other, especially a band like Jane's Addiction that has contributed so much great music to the world. So I truly do hope that they're able to work out whatever is going on between them. I mean, these are these are cats that are, you know, they're older. I think they're I think Perry Farrell's in his 60s. It's like y'all y'all fellas don't need to be getting into tussles up on stage. I think you're past that point and again, such a great band that um it's just unfortunate to see. It's unfortunate to see any time a band has this going on. So I really do wish that uh, they're able to resolve this and, and make peace with each other in whatever is happening and whatever is going on behind this. Some people are, are speculating that it could be substance related. Of course, you, you know, you heard from Perry Farrell's wife, what she thought led to this. Um, but you know, we're just gonna wish for the best for them, but it's very unfortunate to see. You make up your own minds as always. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. That is your latest update here from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for the latest news and updates.